All right, so as not to bore you half to death, um, I've done a couple of different things uh, kind of off camera. Um, I went in and I built a, a pathway uh, going down to where our little farm area is. And so today I thought I'd go ahead and finish up the pathway and then maybe um, show you a little bit of the work we've been doing on our garden. If we have enough time, I'd like to go see if we can catch some chickens and start our chicken farm because those arrows turned out to be really handy and um, we don't have any more. They're all gone. So we're off down to finish our path. Okay, so we got a one wide path cut yesterday, but I got to here and went ahead and, and took it down to two, two wide, but I didn't have any more cobbles, so I had to quit for the day. Um, it was getting dark anyhow. And I keep getting cut off on this uh, video, so really at some point need to purchase the the program and just call it good. Well, I see why it can't be. Well, yeah, that can still be cobble, though. So we're just going to kind of make this look a little bit better. Oops. I hate it when it does that. That actually needs to be cobble. There we go, that's better. You know, that's kind of weird, but it works. All right. I think that is the last piece. Yes, it goes down. And then our little garden area is right over there. Now, something I noticed is that the animals are kind of stomping on our little garden space. So um, what I'm going to do today is we're going to put in a little bit of fencing um, and then using our, our crafting bench that we have down there, we're going to make uh, some gates to keep the animals from stomping all over our fruits and veggies. And I keep hearing that zombie. I keep saying we're going to go in that cave and I just don't have the nerve yet. But you can see the path needs a little bit of work because it looks kind of dumb. But we'll, we'll get it all fixed up eventually, just the way we like it. Just takes time. And something else we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go and see if we can find some place where there's a lot more sand. And I'm hoping to find a desert somewhere. Somewhere not too far away. So you can see we expanded the wheat garden a bit. I'm going to go ahead and push this back so that we have room for the, the fencing. Kind of handy to have a little pool of water here anyhow. Okay. Oop, looks like a squid died. Okay, so let's go ahead and fence this off. Let's start right here. That wouldn't be bad. And if we're going to be working over here, that's kind of dangerous, so we're going to fix that. I, see, I hear a bunch of lava and I look over and Steve's working near lava. And one of the other things that I did off camera was I there were two of the pumpkins that popped. So I went ahead and I harvested those two pumpkins and I planted, instead of, of using the pumpkins for food, I went ahead and I, I made seeds, more seeds out of the pumpkins. 
and then replanted those so that we can get a much better source of pumpkins going here. In order to use the pumpkins for food, there's a couple of different ways you, things you can use pumpkins for. You can use them for food, but in order to use them for food, you have to have um, something that we don't have yet. We haven't found any. We're just going to have to go on and explore and, and find some of this stuff. But you need um, sugar cane in order to use the pumpkins. With pumpkins, you need eggs which of course we have no chickens yet and you need sugarcane and pumpkin and then you can make pumpkin pie which is good but we don't have any yet so we're gonna have to go find some okay you know we need sand and we also need to expand our garden. So what I'm thinking of doing is taking up this sand and replacing it with dirt. In fact, I think I will. about the water issue. This will all get fixed once we put in the dirt. Oh, looks like I got something else I got to do. So I'm going to have to end the video and we'll continue our garden building in a little while.